Looking into the energy meter, energy meter is fixed on top of the household that provides a detailed information about the usage. The calibrated LED blinks every time a water is consumed. The IM detects these pulses using interrupt and counts, which is further stored to the cloud. The functional block diagram consists of a controller ESP8266-12V with a built-in Wi-Fi interface. The energy meter provides the energy being consumed, the current sensor for detecting power theft, the OLED for displaying power consumption, and the load which is controlled through the driver. The power to the Wi-Fi module is 3.3 volt, wherein the power supply is 230 volt. The voltage regulator helps in regulating this current. The project is a design and development of a smart energy meter. And this is our basic design. And coming to the components, this is the energy meter which is th present in all the household. This is the two-way switch. This is the MCT2E optocoupler. This is the, we are using mainly the system controller which is ESP8266-12E which has an inbuilt Wi-Fi module. And this is the uh, OLED. And we have the current sensor ACS712 and we have the MOC3021 opto triac and the BT136 triac and coming to this the load we can give any amount of load this is the 200 watt bulb which we are using now let's look into the code once the power is applied to the controller set of function will be called the serial port will be initialized the general input output ports are initialized and the interrupt is initialized and is attached to the pulse pin from the energy meter. We also initialize the LED. Then the connect AP function will be called, where the module will try to connect to the previously configured Wi Fi router. The connect AP function helps in establishing connection with the help of the SSID and the password. While connecting Wi Fi on the LED, we can see connecting while trying to establish the connection. When connection is successfully established, we can see connected on the screen. Connection of connect AP is established through the SSID and the password. Looking further, in loop function, if interrupt is occurred, power units will be incremented and displayed on the LED. And at the end of the day, units consumed will be uploaded to the cloud. And at the end of the month, the message will be sent to the consumer with the help of the Nexmo service provider. Function theft occurred helps in identifying power theft, which will detect the pulses. And if no pulses are detected, then theft is displayed on the screen. And the, automatically the power will be turned off and ask the consumer to contact Bescom which is the local electricity board. The most service provider helps in sending message to the consumer along with the details of the consumer name, address, billing period, units consumed and the bill amount. It also helps send a message in case of power thefts. Looking further into the implementation, once the load is turned on, it will be connected to the Wi-Fi router with the help of the SSID and password stored in the module. Once connection is established, the load will be turned on. As you can see now, as the power uh, as the power turned on on LED, the calibration LED which is present in the energy meter will blink. And as soon as the blink is detected by the optocoupler, it will be sent to the system controller which then counts the number of pulses and displays in the OLED. And uh, since for our demo, we have taken one pulse is considered as one kilowatt hour. And at the end of the day, all the data will be uploaded to the cloud. This is the cloud where we obtain real time data. This is called ThingSpeak, which has an API key and using which there is successful connection between the module and the cloud. At the end of the day, data will be sent to the cloud. For demonstration, one minute is assumed as one day. So after a month, which is assumed as five days, the SMS will be sent to the consumer. Let's see how the theft mode works. Here is the switch which will be turned to theft mode. The energy meter is bypassed by
by connecting input to the output and the calibrated LED which will no longer produce a pulse even though we have consumption of electricity. So the controller will detect that there is no load by measuring current through current sensor. When pulse is not detected within the threshold time it means that it is a power theft. And after the power theft has been detected the load, the load will automatically be turned off within 10 seconds. Now as we can see that the theft has been detected, the load has been turned off and will display to contact Pescom. Field 1 shows the real time data obtained for every 1 minute. The field 2 indicates the power theft. So now we can see that there is a power theft and is indicated by the cloud. Also the message is sent to the consumer. Thank you for watching.